How do we simplify rational expression? By definition, rational expressions are polynomials in fraction form. So if we have n of x all over d of x, we should remember that the denominator should not be equal to 0 so that our rational expression will be a valid expression. So now, here are some of my examples of rational expressions. So there are polynomials in fraction form. So for letter A, I have 2 over x. For B, I have 3x squared all over 5y and I have 2x plus 1 all over x. All these three um, expressions are considered to be rational expressions because it satisfies the definition of a rational expression. Now, how do we simplify rational expression? So for my example number one, I have x raised to the fifth power all over x cubed. To simplify this rational expression, I expanded it so that you will understand how we're simplifying the expression. So by simplifying this, we're simply canceling the pairs of x's on the top and the bottom fraction. So I can cancel this one, this, and this, and it left me with two x's. So therefore, x raised to the fifth power all over x raised to the third power is simply x squared. Now, it is important that you understand how we are, we are expanding um, expressions. However, it is not advisable if we have m raised to 235 all over m raised to the fifth power. So we should understand how it's done algebraically. So to simplify rational expressions, we're using the laws of exponent, wherein if we have a fraction, we're simply subtracting the exponent on top versus the exponent at the bottom. So 235 minus 5 will give us 230. Therefore, this rational expression is simply equal to m raised to 230. And with that, we're just going to use algebraic method on how we simplify rational expressions as opposed to expanding them. So for number 3, I have y raised to the 7th all over y raised to the 10th by using the step that we did on number 2. 7 minus 10 will give us negative 3, and we have y raised to negative 3. Using the laws of exponent, Whenever we have a negative exponent, we can change it into a positive exponent by taking the reciprocal of y. So we have 1 over y raised to 3 using the law of exponents. So y over 7 all over y to the 10th is simply 1 over y cubed. We're going to use an algebraic way on how to simplify these three examples that we have. For number 4, I have x raised to the 5th y raised to the 10th power, all over x raised to 20, y raised to the 3rd power. So I'm just going to concentrate on my x's and my y's and proceed to subtractions of exponents. So for my x's, 5 minus 20 will give me negative 15, and 10 minus 3 will give me positive 7. And since x has a negative exponent, I'm going to simplify this by putting it as my denominator. And by doing so, my negative exponent is now turned into a positive exponent. So this expression is simply equal to y to the 7th all over x to the 15th. And for my fifth example, I have a coefficient for both the numerator and the denominator. And whenever you have a coefficient, you're simply simplifying fractions like the usual fraction that we had. So for 4 over 8, its simplest form will be 1 half. And then I'm going to simplify my two variables by subtracting their exponents. 2 minus 1 will give me positive 1, so I have m right here. Now 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, so therefore this cancels out and is left with 1. So 4m squared all over 8, oh, 8m is simply 1 half m or m all over 2. And for number 6, I have coefficients and have three variables. So I'm going to concentrate on simplifying coefficient and dividing or subtracting my exponents for my variables. So for 10x to the 12th, y cubed, z to the 6th, all over 5x to the 5th, y to the 7th, z to the 2nd power, 10 over 5 is simply 2, 12 minus 5 is positive 7, 3 minus 7 is negative 4, and 6 minus 2 is positive 4. And by simplifying this further, my negative exponent for y will be on my denominator because I want to get rid of the negative exponent in this expression. So my final answer will be 2x raised to the 7th, z to the 4th, all over y to the 4th.